Hey, what's up? Rob Baldwin here, IMX Productions, and 10 Minute Photoshop. Uh, we've done a lot of t-shirt tutorials lately, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take one of those designs that we made, and we're going to Photoshop it onto a shirt on a picture. Okay, so I've got a photo here, and we're going to take the design of the t-shirt we did uh, last week. So we're just inverting the colors. We did white on an orange shirt. This time we're doing it orange on a white shirt. So first thing you want to do is grab the design. Make sure um, it's a transparent background, obviously. We don't want this on a white. We want it a transparent. Let's go back to the photo of our model here and let's paste that on. Obviously, we've got a high quality one here, so we got to lower, lower that quite a bit. Okay, so that's about good. Now, next let's go back to transform. I'll show you how to get there for those who don't know how to do that. We're going to go to edit, transform, and we're going to pick distort. Okay, you could also just hit the command or control T to get the transform. So on distort, we can now take our endpoints and move them like this, kind of approximate as much as possible how that shirt, how that design would look on the shirt here. Okay, so you get it kind of facing the same angle. Of course, we can rotate whatever we want to do. Okay, and we'll exit there. Now we're not done yet, okay? Now I picked this photo for a reason, not just because there's a gorgeous girl on it, but because with a skin tight shirt like that, just just pasting a photo on is not enough. The shirt, it has to look like it's on the shirt, so we need to do some modifications. So we're gonna take the uh, selection tool, we're gonna select quite a wide, that's maybe a bit too wide, just around the, the design right there. We're gonna come up here to filter, liquefy, okay? Zoom in, now you don't have the picture of the girl behind, but we want to basically approximate the, the curves and try to get it um, how, we, how we would look, how we would follow the shirt. So we're gonna grab the smudge tool, or the warp tool, sorry. Make a brush size, that's probably pretty good. I'm at 111 right here. And just start warping the picture how it would look. So we know approximately kind of the shape that the shirt takes on her body, so this is approximately what we want. Okay, so as you can see, the shirt now follows the curves. It's all good. Now, last thing we want to do, I'm actually just going to rotate it slightly. You can make all these adjustments yourself. Lower the opacity ever so slightly so it just really embeds in there. Okay, now, if you end up here where some of the design is actually going past, um, this is probably my best position right here, but some of the image is actually going a little past. So all we're gonna do is add a mask to that layer, grab a brush, and simply mask that part out. Okay, so it's just that simple. We get the image, we paste it on the photo. We first use the transform tool, distort, to kind of match the shirt, and then we use liquify to match the curves and the curvatures of the shirt and everything. So it's just that simple. All right, I hope you enjoyed that quick tutorial. This is Rob Baldwin, thanks for watching. Follow me on Twitter, please like this video, and check us out, 10minutephotoshop.com. Have a good day.